Just days into the tournament, the World Juniors have been canceled. The goal rebound score. The International Ice Hockey Federation officially announced the cancellation of the tournament late Wednesday afternoon. The decision was made after a positive case was detected on Russia's team, which would force the third forfeit in the tournament's early stages. The IIHF released a statement in part saying, in addition to ensuring the health and safety of participants, the council has determined that with another forfeiture, the third forfeited game in two days, the sportive integrity of the event has been compromised and the event must be canceled. The World Juniors were being held in Red Deer and Edmonton for the second year in a row. Last year, though, the tournament didn't allow fans and was played in a bubble-like scenario. The tournament being cancelled follows a controversial decision late last week by the International Hockey Federation to cancel all events that start in January, including the Women's Under-18 World Championship. Canada was the safest place in the NHL's mind last year in a bubble scenario for the league. Now, the NHL is forcing a number of Canadian games to be postponed in Canadian cities that have capacity limitations. That includes upcoming games in Toronto, Ottawa, Winnipeg and Montreal. A number of these teams and players haven't played a game in weeks. The drills, everything changes. So today we try to mimic just some, some NHL shifts. Um, and as you can see, I mean, there's a big difference between practicing at one pace and playing, um, you know, guys get tired a little quicker. Um, you know, so things change, but um, the, the whole league's involved in this. So, I mean, it, no one has an advantage. Well, it feels like Canadian teams with responsible governments are being punished by the league. Players who have been benched because of COVID-19 are embracing the extra time to get back to game shape, including Senators goalie Gustafson, who's now battled the virus twice. Last time I, I practiced, I, I really struggled when I came back. Uh, today, like, felt like it felt like a tough practice. Uh, but it wasn't as bad as last time I had it, so it felt way better. The biggest thing for us is that, uh, you know, I hope our guys are going to be tired of practicing and they're <laughs> going to be excited and looking forward to playing games. The good news continues for Canadian Olympic athlete Damian Warner. He was just named Canadian Press's Male Athlete of the Year. Yesterday, Leila Fernandez was named the Canadian Press's Female Athlete of the Year. For City News in Toronto, I'm Lindsay Dunn.